Hello YouTube, this is Kenneth1619 and today is October 26th and I got a treat for all you. Um, this is going to be a first look at Windows 8 and um, this is a, uh, I guess, your normal desktop from, what, from how it looks like from Windows 8. But typically how it will look like when you first start it up is you want to hit go up to the right corner or the left corner or up the right upper corner or bottom right corner whichever you prefer and hit the start button and this is how it normally look when you uh, start up your computer now I've gone and done some customizations to this I've played around with it for a bit but um, I'm still learning as I go so first things first um, this is a uh, I guess your main hub or your quick quick links and all your quick stuff you can click your mail calendar people and a bunch of apps you want to have on here um, but to customize I guess the background for this hub whatever you want to call it you can uh, go over to your sidebar here which it's like a taskbar almost and you hit settings and you can go to tiles I believe actually no never mind take it back then you hit this okay here we go so you gotta personalize you got a lock screen this is um, if you were locked computer or tablet or whatever device you happen to be using um, you can change the background image there's a couple of default you can browse and you can have a couple of uh, stuff running around the, running in the background and whatnot and this is uh, the actual uh, start screen is I guess what <clears throat> Microsoft would call it and there's a bunch of uh, I guess predetermined graphics and whatnot there is no option to actually upload your own image as of yet but I'm sure Microsoft within its uh, couple of updates will uh, let you do that you got access to a bunch of other stuff here we'll get into that in a bit later so I want to go back here and I rearranged the tiles in a in a manner that suits me best. I, it's visually appealing for me in this way, but usually you'll get all these um, tiles, the larger tiles, all bunched up on the first two columns. But first things first is uh, the new mail system. And shoot, let's put our Yahoo. So you can, you can uh, add as many accounts as you want. And to do that, you want to go to settings, go to accounts. And you can add accounts through there. And let's head back over here. You got your calendar. Um, by the way, to scroll um, the screen, I guess you're just using the scroller on your mouse. It scrolls from left to right. And uh, these are people. It'll link up with your Facebook account, your Gmail account, your Yahoo Messenger, whatever account you happen to have. And uh, you can go here to your desktop, which would be almost identical to Windows 7. Um, a few changes, if you'll notice, it's just a few visual changes to how uh, the taskbar looks. There's no start button anymore. It's going to have to be on the side, and it's going to take you to that uh, start screen. And yeah, that's pretty much your desktop. It's pretty standard. And this here, you have the store, which is where you would go to. Uh, um, install apps that you can add to your start screen. I've already added a couple, but let me show you how it looks like when you add a new. How about this one? First off, you're gonna have to sign into a Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can sign in with uh, your existing Yahoo or Gmail or whatever account you happen to have. You don't have to go and make a Hotmail account. So you know it it looks very similar to I guess the uh, Android store. Okay, your overview, your details, and your reviews. And you just want to hit install. And you'll see these green little dots run across the top of the screen indicating that it's downloading. And we can go ahead and go to the download page if I remember how to get there exactly. If, okay, go back to store. It's loading. I'm trying to remember exactly how I did. Okay, so you're installing apps. I'm not exactly sure how to get there. Usually, you right-click 
to pull up um you know a little taskbar or whatever that, that has a couple of options. Another cool feature which I, that I like is if um you go to the left hand side of the screen, the top corner or left corner, whichever side, you um you can go down and you have a bunch of stuff that you recently opened and you can click and hold and pull it out. <clears throat> and then hold on, give me a second here. You can divide the screen in half. Oh, I'm on. Okay, so you want to open up like desktop or another application, and I will have my messenger open on the side, and I haven't figured out how to open it in the middle to divide it in half. But you can just, I mean, I can try and do it like this, but it doesn't really do it very well. And then to hide it, you can just drag it back in. And um, yeah, it's still pending. I don't know why it's pending. It's taking forever to download, but anyways, um, your search searches all the apps and stuff in your computer. You got your Windows system, computer, you got all your stuff here. It's a guess. Uh, you can search things like you know, I can open it up, and if you want to pin things to your start uh, screen, there's many ways to do it. You can just go, whoops, sorry. Go to your desktop, I guess. Click anything, a folder, right click it, and then pin to start. And that would pin it. I guess I can show you pin to start. And that would pin it to the start menu. You can just right click it and unpin from start. Right click, go to all apps. And I'm sure there's some kind of shortcut key to get back to the start screen. I just don't know it yet. You can right click any of the existing tiles to do a number of options that it gives you. Um, I haven't figured out how to enlarge the tiles yet. I can only shrink tiles. For instance, smaller. I can't make any of the other tiles bigger, the ones you add. And I'm going to show you, just drag this across. So you got that scrolling effect, like I said, if you use the mouse scroll. It'll get the job done. And uh, yes, my uh, quick overlook of Windows 8. And uh, still learning how to use it, but you, you know, I mean, if you're an average PC user, I, you know, it's not that hard to get a hang of it. So um, yeah, it's definitely worth getting. It's really cool. And. Pretty smooth and fast. I was doing a couple of trans I was transferring files and whatnot, and it seems to work faster in Windows 7. I mean, it's just it could just be me, but it seems like it's faster to me. But whatever. I mean, it looks cool. It uh, runs smoother, and yep. I I don't know. It just depends on what you like. But there you have it, folks. Uh, quick overlook of Windows 8. And uh, it's on sale right now for $39.99 for Windows 8 Pro if you upgrade. And um, I believe it ends on January 1st or something like that. And it'll go back up to $80. So definitely make sure to get it before then if you want to get a discounted price. And uh, see you guys later.